Okay, while I'm waiting for my technician to uh, get some <laughs> stuff together, <laughs> I'm going to ramble about this case. <clears throat> Inside this pouch is not Batman. <laughs> I wish. It once was Deadpool. <laughs> and Deadpool was a male intact sugar glider that needed to be fixed. And I was really curious as to what was going to happen because... If you understand your comic books, you can't neuter Deadpool because they'll just grow back. So I wasn't arguing about not neutering Deadpool because it would have been just a waste of client money. But then they changed his name to, to uh, some other name now, which I'm not really con I'm really confused. It was, bitch. They were saying bitch, bitch, stitch. They had all kinds of names earlier. So anyway, it's not Deadpool anymore, so I feel better about neutering them. <laughs> you want a 10 or 15 blade? I'll do a 15. So, uh... Inside this pouch is a cute little bald marsupial, uh, flying marsupial, um, which we love to call for gliders. Uh, these guys do need neutering, and uh, <laughs> I've done probably hundreds of these easy. Um, love it. It's actually it's been a, one of those great challenges when it comes to post-surgical pain and, uh, and uh, self-mutilation prevention. Um, I think I finally figured this out, and we'll do one more test just to make sure. But anyway... Um, I guess we're going to start to get busy later. All right. A little patient's been clipped and prepped. Um, I always let the stuff sit there and soak on the testicles for quite a few minutes, uh, about 10 minutes before I go in just to make sure they're good and clean. Um, cause you know, they've been hanging around and flopping around all over everywhere. <laughs> So we want to make sure it's as clean as possible. Um, okay, we're getting ready to get started. Uh, again, I'm glad this isn't Deadpool because I would be really frustrated being a surgeon, cut something off, and watch it grow back right in front of me. That would just hurt me to no end. All right, later. Okay, it's a good thing they changed his name because Deadpool, those that have grown back already. <laughs> Anyway, um, we are here waiting for our buddy here to wake up from anesthesia. As you can see, our rest of rate is actually starting to climb already. And as soon as this guy is, starts to move, he will probably, if he does like most of them, do his average little sit-up, come to about right there, and not chew on that area right there. If that means my local block has worked fine, then this guy will be great till, uh, for the remainder of this, uh, this process. <clears throat> As I've said many times before, if you were a sugar glider or your average marsupial, your testicles are pedunculated somewhere here on the outside of your abdomen, which means there's two testicles in a sac, and you can actually stretch about that far off as how far these testicles can be removed from his abdomen without actually having to strain or pull any ligaments. So, with that in mind, these guys jumping around in bushes and trees, knowing where their testicles are 24-7 is just something that's part of their... Um, their regular behavior. I mean, if you're flying, okay, and you're getting ready to land at some point in time, you gotta learn to tuck those things because they can be pretty sensitive and hurt when they land. I know this is a personal experience. Anyway, with that in mind, uh, I think this is why marsupials have been that one cursed species for those of us who try to do these guys and castrations and neuters, simply because they're the only species so far, the only type of animal that's actually woken up and noticed that their testicles are missing. Out of the umpteen, well, we're talking thousands and thousands of dogs and cats that I've neutered over the 20 years I've been a veterinarian, and probably the almost 100 of these guys that I've done, this is about the only species, um, or the only type of animal, marsupials, that actually know when their testicles are missing. Nothing else, to my knowledge or in my remembrance, has ever uh, ever shown that, uh, that kind of uh, awareness. Anyway, so, we'd be patient. Scott, wake up in just a few minutes. Oh, here's a little buddy. 
No blood on his nose, no blood on his mouth. <laughs> I mean, come on, show me your belly. I know, you are a sweetheart compared to most. Yeah, I'd have been chewed up by now, but you go ahead and get in there. Show me your belly. Can you show me your belly? Can you? Oh, 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 doctor, don't do that. Soon the little bald spot will disappear. There's also a small bald spot on the chest that will disappear as well. And this guy will look like Osher Gliders. Yeah. Won't be, won't be hindered by those damn hormones that drive men crazy. Yeah. Or worse yet, females. Oh yeah, they're the worst. They got so many hormones to work with. Oh. I'd kill myself. What is that? What are you doing? Okay, cool. No blood down there. All is good. Clients are called. You'll be on. Get you going home soon. Later, dude. Another successful shirt, glider, neuter. No e collars. Nothing needed.